What's up guys, it's Yuval here and in today's video I want to take you on a tour on one of the most holy places for any YouTuber, which is the YouTube studio. I'm going to show you all the lights that we're using, audio gear, that kind of stuff. So kick back and enjoy. And as always, we're going to have a cool giveaway at the end of this video. So make sure you stick around, but let's jump right in. So this is what our studio looks like when we're not shooting YouTube videos. This is actually my workstation here at the Artlist. So this is also where I do all of my editing, color grading, and anything else creative. This room was actually originally designed to be an audio recording studio. So all of the walls here, including the ceilings, are covered with high quality acoustic panels, giving us the perfect environment to record great sounding YouTube videos. Plus it kind of looks nice. So let's start off with our camera. We're using the Blackmagic Pocket 6K with the 18 to 35 and 24 to 70 Sigma art lenses. We have V-mount batteries if we need them to power the camera, but usually we just have it directly plugged to electricity since we're in a studio anyway. I use manual focus to film myself if there's nobody else helping me out. And I currently don't use a monitor, but I'm planning to get one. It will definitely make my life easier. And if you're wondering about the tripod, it's a Manfrotto 456B, which is perfect for this setup. In terms of lighting, for our key light, I'm using this Nanlite Mix Panel, which is an LED panel that has tons of features like RGB lighting, special effects, and more. But for this setup, I'm just using it in daylight mode, and I'm also taking advantage of the soft light mode that it provides. To diffuse the light and make it even softer and nicer on my face, I'm using the Nanlite softbox and I'm also using a grid to really control the light and reduce the amount of spill light on the background. If any of you guys are shooting in a small space, especially if all the walls around you are white, using a grid is really gonna help you out. The reason I'm using a fairly small softbox and not a huge light dome like pretty much everyone else on YouTube, it's because this room is fairly small and using a huge light is harder to set up and it's also harder to control. I have the light placed to my right, camera left, to kind of motivate the light coming from my monitors, and I have it coming in from around a 45 degree angle so that I get all of these nice shadows, as well as this nice triangle of light on the far side of my face. This is probably what you want to do as well, to get beautiful fluttering light. So that is my key light, and for the background I'm using two Nanlite RGB tubes to give this room some character and also separate myself from the background. To add some more spice, I have one of these Aperture MC lights on my desk behind my monitors. These are great because they can fit in pretty much anywhere, they're full RGB and they're just really easy and quick to set up. I really like having the ability to change the color of all of these lights so I can always switch things up and just have that flexibility. So that is how we light our videos and now let's move on to audio, which is just as important, if not more important, than lighting. Now, like I said before, we have a professional audio recording room, which is a huge advantage, but you could do some simple things like using carpets or blankets to fill up the space and absorb some of the audio and really make your videos sound great. We're usually using one of two options. The first one, which is what I'm using to record this video, is the Rode NT5, which gives out great sound. We plug it in directly into the Blackmagic Pocket 6K using an XLR to XLR mini adapter. The second option is the DD Connect Love Mic, which is great for when we're out and about, um, when we're on set and not in the studio. It's really quick and easy to set up. So that is it. This is our YouTube studio. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, give this video a like and consider subscribing. We always really appreciate that. And for today's giveaway, three of you guys could win three of these artist sweatshirts. Um, it's new, so we have it in gray and black, so you get to choose. All you have to do to enter is comment down below. What other videos would you like for us to make on this channel? Here's the winner from our last giveaway. Congratulations to you. Until the next one, stay creative.